Mana no Lattes. And welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed and happy to be spending some time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lori Latte. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. It's 4.30 a.m. y'all, I can't sleep. There will be days like this. I'm at McDonald's. I got me a small iced vanilla latte. One bump of caramel. I'm wearing my sunglasses, y'all, because my eyes are so tired. Okay, they're tired. Plus, I just want to look cool. The young lady that makes my coffee real good is working the graveyard shift. This McDonald's is two minutes from my house. I don't usually come to this one anymore because there's one across the street from my house. That's the one I frequent. Why are there dog barks? We're going to have a little makeup chat, y'all. Okay. Because I brought my favorite makeup bag. This is my Laura bag. Personalized. It's a personalized bag. It's got mostly my lip products in it. It's clear, and it has my name on it. It was a gift. Maddie gave me this bag. She made it for me. Mad's World ASMR. So I got the small iced coffee, and it's a latte with the golden arches. And I got a medium hot I couldn't sleep, so I went on Instagram. I follow a beauty YouTuber, and she's also on Instagram. Her name's Rocio. I'm going to put her Instagram link in the description box because she's more active over there. And she was talking about some eyeshadow palettes. This is where the word influencer comes into play. Okay. I love Rocio. She's beautiful. Revolution Beauty has some new eyeshadow palettes. They're called Iconic Palettes, okay? But it's a dupe for a Patrick Ta palette. The Revolution Beauty palette's $12. The Patrick Ta palette's 70 But it looks so similar to the one that Patrick Ta is making. So Rocio did this beautiful eyeshadow look with the Patrick Ta palette. Excuse me. She did a Patrick Ta Revolution Beauty side-by-side -side comparison. And she was promoting the Revolution Beauty palette. It's $12, y'all. I went online. I ordered it. I got that one. And they have one that has purple colors because the iconic one has cranberry pink colors. And I also ordered one that's got mauve and brown colors on it. Guys, I'm excited about it. It was $24 free shipping. Revolution Beauty's having some sales right now. I'm going to list in the description box of palettes that I ordered. I think if you order three, you get a, some kind of a discount. I only liked two of them, so I only ordered two. But I'm super excited to get those palettes. They're very, very pretty. They have some cream colors in them, two cream colors. They have some shimmer colors, and they have some matte colors on it. This young lady who just made my coffee, I gave her a $2 tip. 
She just prepares my coffee really good. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I don't have to add or subtract anything when she makes my coffee. Y'all, I'm so excited about those two palettes that I ordered. They're extremely beautiful and very, very affordable. I'm pretty sure they're very new. They probably just released them very recently. Of course, I'll be doing an unboxing when I receive them. Let me show you the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is literally my favorite cosmetic bag right now. Thank you, Maddie. I love it. Especially because it has my name on it. It's got a pink butterfly and a purple butterfly. And this rainbow right there. I'm wearing the prettiest ever NYX Fat Oil Lip Balm. These are their click sticks. I bought this about a month ago at Ulta. It's this pretty, pretty brown. I have a mirror right here. The thing about these is they have so much color on them, but they have an incredible shine as well. It's like they have primer built in on it. Just extremely beautiful. I'm going to do a brown look. A brown lavender look. Soon. And I'm going to wear this. This particular color on my lips because it's just so pretty and it looks good on my skin tone. I'm going to keep you posted on those iconic eyeshadow palettes. I can't wait to get them. Probably take about a week. I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. Someday when I'm retired think I'm going to have to start a cosmetics only ASMR channel because I just love talking about makeup you guys it makes me so happy this is Rare Beauty this is their liquid highlighter in the shade Enchant. Love it. I love this color. It's so pretty. Look at that. It has a beautiful shimmer, but it's a mauve pink shade. This is literally one of my favorite highlighters in my entire collection. I put it in here because it's a liquid highlighter. There's a truck in the drive-thru right behind me. Necessary when you make a coffee run. Okay. I'm going to show you all the cool stuff I got in my bag. This is my brand new Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did show it to you in a whole video. I got it a few weeks ago at TJ Maxx for $6.99. This is a matte lippy, but it's this beautiful pink. And what I do 
after I apply it is I go over it. I go over it with a lip oil. This is my shade. This is my shade. It's just that pretty. You see, it's the most beautiful pinky shade, but this dries down to a matte. And I just go over it with a real nice lip oil. Usually when I find these at TJ Maxx, they're colors I wouldn't purchase. So when I saw this pink one, I grabbed it quick. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. And I'll just get one of my, um, one of my lip oils. Let me see if this one is a clear one. No, that's not a clear one. Look, I'll get my Winky Lux. Maddie gave me this lip oil. It's one of my favorites because Winky Lux or Wink Lux in the stars. Yeah, it's Winky Lux. They sell this at Target. But the thing is, these are pricey. But Maddie gave me this. I think she gave it to me for Christmas last year. But this one is clear for the most part. See, so I'll go over it with a nice slip oil. It's perfect. It doesn't dry out my lips. This smells like... This smells like vanilla cupcakes. It just smells so nice. And the packaging on this one is extremely beautiful. This product I just showed you was a gift from my dear friend Jetty. She sent this to me last December. It's a German product. Jetty lives in Germany, but she has a subscription to Glossy Box, and she gave me this. This is so, so pretty. You see that? It's like a golden brown. Extremely lovely. I love this product, Jetty. Thank you so much. That's what it looks like. I'm pretty sure she probably got this in a glossy box. And she sent it to me. I appreciate it more than you know. This is my Summer Fridays beautiful pink lip oil. It comes in this frosted container. This was a gift from Maddie also, my dear, dear sweet little sister Maddie. Look at that shine and look at the nice pink color. It's gorgeous. And this smells really, really good. Just extremely beautiful. Now this, you guys, I got all my favorites in this bag right here. Favorite makeup bag, favorite lip products. This is a fat oil. It's a lip oil by NYX. I bought this at Ulta about a couple of months ago. It 
it's this beautiful purple color. If you can get your hands on these fat oils, it's $10, okay? But the thing about this lip oil, it is, has some nice color to it. I'm going to swatch it. It has some nice color to it. Do you see that? Gorgeous. Love this one. And it smells like grapes. I love this one. You can find this at Walmart. You can find it at Ulta. It's $10. If you're going to buy one lip oil, one affordable lip oil, get the fat oil by NYX. I have this in pink and I have it in mauve. I love this product. This is another one of my favorite fat oil products, but this is their click stick. I showed you the brown one. This is the one I'm wearing right now. But this is a mauve pink color. Again, these are $10. Look at how gorgeous. These have so much color to them. Get you this one and get you. Get this and get this. It's called a click stick. No, it's not, lady. It's called a slick click. I got this in a bubblegum pink. I got this in a mauve pink. And I got this one in the brown. Okay. Just take my word for it and go get it. When I wear this, I don't need a lip oil. Because it has the primer. It's got the primer in it already. told you I got my best stuff in this bag. I'm not kidding. Uh-oh. Lights went out. I think it's my vehicle telling me go home, lady. This is my Tower 28 lip product. This was a gift from Kimberly Angel on my shoulder. I think she gave it to me for my birthday. This is my only Tower 28 product that I own. I love it because it has this beautiful shine on it. Sometimes I'll use this over a lip product because it's very creamy and lovely. This is a one, it's like a crayon. I just got all my best stuff in here. Okay, this y'all. This is a lip tint that I bought from YesStyle just about a month ago. It's like a cranberry pink color. Look at that. Look at that right there. It's awesome, beautiful. It's like a hot pink mauve shade. Gorgeous, beautiful. I love this product so much. It's just gorgeous, beautiful. And I think I might have paid... I paid less than $10 for this, y'all. Maddie gave me this really cool lipstick that changes color with your pH. Let me see if it's going to work on my hand. It may not. But it's got this wonderful glitter on it. You're not going to be able to see it. But when I apply it on my lips, it changes color. This is so fun.
Look, I've got my fruit fetish. This is the strawberry melon. Y'all, these are $8. You could get them at Walmart as well. But these smell like jello. Oh my goodness. It smells like strawberry jello. But these are so hydrating on the lips. These don't have that much color to them. But it don't matter. It don't matter. We're talking about fruit fetish here. They're extremely fruity. They're fun. I put these over a lipstick or a lip gloss so it can neutralize the tackiness and the stickiness. Okay. You got to get you at least one fruit fetish product. Just do it. It's only 10 bucks or 8 bucks. Okay, here we go. Here's another slick click. Okay, this was a gift from Kimberly. This is where the fascination started with this product. But this is a strawberry red. This is the only red lippy that I'm wearing these days. It's got so much pigment and color and shine to it. This one doesn't smell like anything, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If you like red, just get this one, okay? Okay, here's another Milani fruit fetish, but this one is raspberry. These are Milani. You can find these at Walmart. Every fruit fetish lip oil smells different than the other. That other one smells like strawberries. This one smells like raspberry jello. I just got a fascination going on here. That's all. That's all. Told ya. Fruit fetish. Okay. But this one is, um, it's like a fig. A lychee. But this one's more of a creamy. It's not as clear as the other ones. See, it smells completely different than those other ones do. And this one actually has a tiny bit of color to it. This one matches my lip product. Love it. I actually have this honey milk lip oil that I got from Yes Style. I literally just got this a few weeks ago. This one smells so good. It smells like honey. And I love the packaging. Y'all, I could be here all day. Okay, this is my Kissing Jelly Glass by Too Faced. This was a gift from Maddie. She sent it to me in a summer care package. But this is cotton candy. These are very pricey and the container's not very big. But I have to tell you the truth. I love this product so much. Of course, Maddie bought it for me. They don't give you a lot of product in here because you see this is taking up a lot of space. But you guys, extremely wonderful product. They just need to make these containers a tiny bit bigger because this product is marvelous. It's marvelous.
It smells like cotton candy. It just does. This is one of my OG ColourPop Lux lip oils. And to be quite honest with you, I need to get me some more ColourPop lip oils. This is where my lip oil fascination started. These smell like vanilla. They usually sell these for $8 and they're extremely, extremely awesome. I just love this product so much. This is in this beautiful lavender container. That's an OG lip oil. The last thing I'm going to show you is one more Milani fruit fetish product. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not, I think this is passion fruit. Oh my gosh. Each one smells different than the other. They don't smell anything like one another. So every fruit fetish lip oil has its own scent that corresponds whatever fruit it's made after. All right, you guys, I'm going to go home and I'm going to see if I can go to sleep for about an hour before I have to go to work. I enjoy chit-chatting with you. I'll catch up with you soon.